So here I am on the chairlift. Hi, and I'm Sarah. This is our second morning with Sarah, and I'm going to show you how I improve an intermediate skier. So Sarah, how did you find me? Excellent. It's been very uh, transformational in just having small tips, like everything from carving to yesterday we even got some moguls which I don't think anyone ever teaches you how to properly do moguls and it's really nice to just learn that and just spend time really focused and being able to follow someone so you feel much more confident in doing it. So literally what I've done is I've got two sessions with Sarah and Sarah got in touch with me. Was it, what, did you find me through forum? Yeah, yeah. So I was just looking for, for kind of one-on-one -on -one for more intermediate advanced skiers uh, and it was a forum that just recommended you to, to look up. I think specific, specifically for female skiers yeah. as well was really helpful. <coughs> Sarah found me through a forum. She literally got in touch. We jumped on a call and uh, here we are with two sessions with Sarah. Now, I really wanted to improve her all-round skiing and that was her real main goal. So what I did in the beginning was actually get my video camera out and that is the best teaching tool you can see really. So I can actually see Sarah skiing and then I can show her how she's skiing and how to improve. So uh, as a coach for me it's really important to have a look at like Sarah's all round skiing and then instead of breaking it apart I can see the good things and, and give tips on how to improve. Another tip. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of really worked, is that we've worked together and we've created some notes. Yeah, just on my phone as we get in the oh, underlines, yeah. just like yeah. for myself to, to remember exactly just like the keyword and things to do and things to focus on when I have the afternoon. Also super helpful, before I came out, I was watching your YouTube videos. One for the ski report, which is snow report, which was really helpful to know. And two, I picked up some tips like the pole planting before I even got here. So like and subscribe. So we had a look at the short turns, which you can see. So we're just trying to make the short turns more round and more ski performance. Then we went on to the carving turns with a slightly wider stance, needed a bit lower and more lateral movement to improve on her carving. And then yesterday we went into the bumps, which was great. And we did some technical bump training as well. On the, on the long turns, yeah. it's pretty much a lower position on the body mm. and it's actually a pole touch okay. so you're just touching the snow it's no massive you know yeah. um pole plant in the yeah. way yeah it's but the arm carriage is slightly wider mm. and the feet are slightly wider apart got it okay what's important is to look at in front of you the terrain in front of you and then think right what do i need to adapt for that terrain now skiing is really pretty much full of angles. If we've got the terrain here and the slope, just say it's flat, and this is skiing, the skier, it's really important for it to be perpendicular. So you're here, okay? And what happens is like on this steep bit, when the angle gets steeper, everyone doesn't adjust. So it's really important to make sure you come forward and you stay perpendicular all the way down the slope. And I think that's one of your biggest takeaways yeah. that we've been doing. Is, is that's one of the aha moments. Aha yeah. moments, epiphany moments <laughs> of, yeah, keeping that angle wherever you go. So now we're on a little bit of the off piece, okay, slightly different technique. We're just gonna be standing up a little bit taller. Yeah. Yeah. Those smooth round turns that we did yesterday yeah. and really sensitive with the edges. Got it. So can you see where you've got the sun? You can see it's actually melted and frozen. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to avoid the south facing and we're going to come into more north. Yeah. Great, that's it. So feet nice and close together. Yeah. Okay. Okay, um, having a flat ski for the bumps. Yeah. Um, pole plant sort of a little bit closer in the arm carriage, that's it. Yeah. Okay, and then the biggest movement is actually bending and stretching, absorbing. Yeah. So if you're looking to improve your skiing and you don't know how, just get in touch. My uh, email I put down in the description below. Cool. So just to finish off the two lessons, what I've done is we've round up in some notes of what Sarah can improve and help on for the off piece, the bumps, the short turns, and the carving. You gotta have had a great time. Thank you so much. Bye. Double Valley Perdue.